this video, you're going to learn about the difference between a no glow, a low glow, and a red glow trail camera. My name is Mike Huff, and I spend a lot of time with trail cameras. I am a professional predator hunting guide. I operate masterpredatorhunting.com. I have over three dozen cameras out now. I've spent a lot of money on them, so I research them quite extensively to make sure I'm getting good cameras. And it takes a lot of time. So that's the reason I'm making this video, maybe some more, to help people who might be interested but don't want to invest all the time necessary to fully understand differences in their money that they're spending on cameras today. In this video, you'll actually see all three cameras operating at night. You'll see what type of illumination comes off the camera, and you will also see the pictures that they take. Before we do that, let's talk about the different types of technology. This camera, the first one here, is called a Red Glow. They're very popular. There's lots of them on the market. This happens to be a Spy Point uh, Link Micro. And like I said, it is a Red Glow. It's just a basic camera, real affordable cellular camera, 10 megapixels. All it does is take photos, takes two photos at a time if you want it to, but it's a Red Glow. The camera in the middle is a low glow. It's an Amazon camera. It's a Victor. It had a good rating. It's not really a good camera. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I didn't have any low glows, but I bought it just to see what it was like. Uh, you'll actually see in the footage, it's actually brighter than the red glow. So I'm not sure the, the low glow is something that is uh, not necessarily a marketing tool. Um, you might want to go to trailcamerapro.com or different websites to get an objective assessment of the brightness. Um, and then the last one right here, this is the Browning Dark Ops Apex. This is a no glow uh, IR or invisible camera. You also might see them advertised as no flash or no glow or dark or dark ops. They have different names but the idea is that when you look at the camera you will not see anything when the picture is being taken. Let's talk about how cameras take pictures at night. Every trail camera must put out a light source at night to capture the animal that it's taking a picture of. In the old days, the cameras used a bright white flash. It wasn't too bad, actually. It carried a long way, and it provided uh, color at night. These cameras today don't give you any color at night. Uh, but it was really noticeable. It spooked a lot of animals. So that's why that kind of has gone away. There's still a few, but it's mostly gone away. And that's why today you have the red glows and the low glows and the no glows. So what these cameras do is they put out a beam of light. In the no glows and the invisible IR cameras, there is actually light coming out. It's at 940 nanometers. Without getting too technical, it's just a bright red light. It's above the spectrum. It's actually a darker red light, not a brighter one. But it's above the spectrum the human eye can see. But when this camera is triggered, it puts out a bright light. We just can't see it, nor can the animals. Uh, these cameras also put out a light. Uh, it's a red light. It's lower on the spectrum. That's why they call it a red glow or a low glow. And you're going to see now in a second something pretty neat. I'm going to show you with all three of these cameras what they look like outside at night in the dark taking a picture. First, we're going to start with the Spy Point Link Micro and you're going to take a look at a video of the camera itself as it's hung for this test. Then you actually will see the red that the camera emits from about 20 yards away and what that looks like. And then finally, I'll put a picture that this camera actually took. Okay, the second camera, the low flash, you're going to see, first of all, what it looks like outside, and you'll see a red flash, and it's actually, I think, uh, much brighter than the spy point was. So, I'm not sure how honest that advertising was for this particular camera. Uh, I might look at 
another camera if you want a low glow camera. But nonetheless, this is classified in Amazon as a low glow camera. And you're gonna see what that looks like. And then you'll also see something very unique. I actually put my camcorder on night mode that actually picks up IR light. So you're gonna see a bright flash of light and that's actually what's coming out of the camera. Okay, now the last one on the Browning camera. You will not have any type of video coming up on a flash because there is no flash, but you'll see a quick clip of the camera as it's mounted, and then you'll see the picture that it took. Thanks for watching my video. I hope it helped you. And if you're interested in a predator hunt, please check out what I have to offer at masterpredatorhunting.com. Thank you.